Well, can you take us into that world? Like, when do you begin watching them, and what's an average day like where you, your co-partner Theo Dumont, and then whoever's involved in watching them go through? Like, what's that like? Well, it's basically, uh, you know, early on, it's uh, it starts pretty early. I mean, you know, say so right now, really, now going forward, um, you know, we'll get together on times we can, usually weekends, um, and and just essentially sit down and just and watch uh, in a full day we'll watch as many as we can really to get through just a bunch of films score them and, and with the early thinking in mind we don't know what we're going to do with these films yet we don't know how we're going to program anything other than the basic obvious and we have animation we have documentary we have student you know we have certain basic categories right but outside of that we don't know what else might come our way we program based on the, the type of quality we get from from you know other areas like all of a sudden one year we had french films and you know the year we have spanish films another year we have films you know, directed by women, you know, like, it depends on the amount of volume you get for certain types of categories, like, so we can program around that once we get to see what we have after watching all the films. But until then, you have to just kind of see what is worthy of looking at again and what isn't. That's initially the early process. We're going to watch just to be early on lenient, say, okay, is this good enough to consider and we can look at it again later, or is this something that we feel after watching the first time is just this is not going to score high enough and it's not going to get in. And it's just kind of, that's the early process. So once you go through all of that, with all the films, then we kind of sit and see, okay, now how many films do we have? Now how much do we have to program? And get into like a sort of a second round. Then we go back and, all right, let's watch these again and see where they fit. Or compare the, judge, the judges' scores and see where we feel they're at. Or if we feel like, again, like I said, let's say, for instance, female category, uh, female directors. We feel like we have some really strong films that fit a good program for that. All right, cool. Then you know what? Those films that score really high, let's go ahead and slot those in that fit well with that program, we'll program that. And then, you know, maybe not even go back to those, but we feel like strong about how they scored and the films that fit in that program, and we'll create a program for that. Because again, we have latitude, and we have the basic categories, and then we have a lot of slots to fill that are just stuff that we can create as far as the programming side, how we want to get creative with, how we want to show these films to an audience. So that's where some of that comes into play with how we pick films as well. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's some of it. And what does your scoring paperwork look like? Like, what what some of the criteria do you? Well, it's it's it's, it's some of some of it's kind of obvious, right? Like, you, you watch certain films, and sometimes it's just a home run. You know, the film's amazing. You know, the film was just flawless. It was fantastic. You know, the acting was great, visually stunning, and everything was just you know just great. And it's just really just you know everyone across the board just feels like you know this is a fantastic film, and we're going to program this film. So it's going to score very high, and we'll make note of that of what it was, what was good about it, what what potential awards could it be up for, if if at all. And, and then kind of go from there. And that's, that's kind of push aside. Like, all right, this is, you know, we know this is going to be, this is going to get in. And there's other ones where, you know, we, we feel strong about it, but there's some things we felt were lacking, whether it's the editing, the cinematography, the acting, whatever areas of the film that we'll note that, you know, it's strong in this area, not as strong here, and give it a score based on that. And then we'll know to go back to it and we'll know what we're looking for as far as, you know, when we go back, you know, what, where it could fit and where maybe it doesn't and, and why. So that's part of that process. And then, Outside of all that would be the films that, that, you know, again, like, just score lower, just generally don't, you know, just uh, are not either just poorly executed, not well made, um, or other areas that are, that are, prob that are problematic for us, or, or just, in our opinion, just, just didn't work, you know, and it just didn't work. Because, again, it, is, it does boil down to a judgment call. I mean, all films, I mean, you know, we may not like something, someone else may. But uh, if those don't score well enough, then, then they're out, and then, then we'll, uh, we'll indicate them at that time, but we'll score it that way, so we know we're not going to go back to revisit those films. But uh, it, you want to kind of, it's a sifting through process. You want to early on sift through the films and see what you have and don't have. And then from there, go back and then start really trying to see if you can plug in the films and rewatch them, compare them to other films of the same genre and things like that. And then, and then kind of see where you're at. Without naming any names or, you know, filmmakers mm -hmm. or whatever, can you ever remember a time when you and the team were really on the fence? Like there was just a real polarization over one film and how long it took to come to an agreement? Yeah, that, that happens. That has happened happen sometimes. I mean, it used to be having more early on because we had so little slots to fill. We used to be two days, and then we were three three days, and you know, two three days, you don't have any time. I mean, your time is just very very limited. You have two and a, it was like two and a half days. It was a Friday night and a Saturday Sunday. It's really like not even three full days. We can only show. Uh, it was like seventy five movies, so you know that would get really tough because now you're like, all right, why are you picking this films? And it, it does make the process a little more stressful. Or it's really really why you're picking it. How does it fit in the program? We didn't back then really program much by like theme as much. It was more like we just wanted to try to show the best films possible because we had to be that way. We had to be really strict on that because if we didn't, then we're gonna be like, oh, let's throw all these 
these you know these kind of slapstick comedies together and make this pro well if we do that at like eight o'clock at night it takes away two hours and we have no other room to program anything else then what about that other great film that was this fantastic drama that we just now we can't show it and it's better than that other film and but if it's a program like that don't really feel that's like fair but that was then now we have seven days and you know even may even add more um they have time to fill. So we can go and do a two hour program of just these kinds of films, and two hour program of this kind of film, two hours of docs, two hours of animation, two hours of comedy. Two hours. You know, so we can do that, and then that can fill those spots up. It kind of helps us to lead us in a certain direction of what we're going to pick. So it, it, the, the debates aren't as, as kind of intense as they were, because again, there's a little more leeway of time where you could fit stuff in. But, but yeah, there, there's definitely some, because some films are very polarizing with, uh, and I like that. I like films that are like, taking more chances. But some people might say, oh, that story, I, that was really, I hated it. I just hated it. And I might say, you know what? No, I really love that. I thought that was a great story. I thought it was really original. It was fresh. Oh, it was, it was just ignorant. It was stupid. It was this. It's the whole, so you have that, you do have films like that sometimes that are very, like, that stand out a lot. Whether it's just the subject matter, that's generally what it is. It's the subject matter. If it's something that's a little, maybe, uh, heavy-handed or just really, really dramatic or just vulgar, that's the stuff. The, the vulgar violence, like that kind of thing. Some people might feel strong about it, like, and some people might, on our side, feel like, you know, no, I don't think this, this should be screened, this doesn't fit. And that's where you had that debate. It really comes down to the, I guess you'd say probably the stuff that's, uh, that's more uh, a vulgar in nature, you know, a lot of times. And I, 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 for one, I like that stuff. You know, I like, you know, films are taking more chances, you know, and, and, and filmmakers that do that, I'll appreciate, even if maybe it's a little risque or over the top. I'll lean towards that. Me, my personally, me personally, some some other folks on our team sometimes not. So that, you know, there's that debate. But you know, sometimes me and Theo say, you know what, this is what we like. So whatever. <laughs>